breathless Punta Cana. Ever since I stayed at Rio Republica, this is the property everyone has been talking and asking about. There is so much hype around this place. There's no way it can be true, right? Right? Well, there's so much of it. If only half of it is true, this is gonna be a really decent stay. I'm excited to finally be here. Let's get this trip started. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Breathless Punta Cana. Finally, 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 I am here. Breathless Punta Cana, the most hyped hotel in Punta Cana, and my most requested video. I just did a dedicated room tour of this junior suite. This is the cheapest room available here on site. So if you're coming to Breathless and Punta Cana, you're most likely going to be staying in this room. Uh, if you're interested in what it's like, make sure you check out that video. I did a dedicated room tour. That video was actually really disappointing for me. I'm quite underwhelmed and kind of a little bit melancholy because this room is, is not good. This room has a lot of issues, especially for being at the price it is. This is by far, by far the most expensive room I've ever paid for in Punta Cana. And for what I paid, I am just not impressed at all. Now I know the price of the hotel is not always reflected in the quality of the room. You have the food, you have the drinks, the pool, and everything else, but um, for the most expensive room I've ever paid for, I am very underwhelmed, and that's putting it nicely. I don't want to get negative right away. It's too early in the video. And plus, I'm really excited to be here. So right now, I'm just going to show you the high points or tell you the high points, and then we're going to get on with this trip. So in the bathroom, the two standout features um, are number one, the dual vanity with the dual external sinks with the orange perimeter on them. Those are so cool. And then the water closet has a bidet. I've yet to see a bidet in a Punta Cana hotel room. So that's the first bidet. I think that's such a sign of class. And then in the main portion of the room, this bed is by far the standout. It is probably the best bed I've ever had in Punta Cana, taking the crown away from Majestic Mirage. It is so soft and supple. Uh, I think if you're coming to the Caribbean, you almost have to have a soft bed. This is perfect. And then the last standout feature of this room is the balcony. It has a private outdoor tub. A couple chairs out there to relax and of course it overlooks the exhale club pool the exhale club is the uh, upsell portion of this property apparently it gets you into some premium restaurants and gets you some premium drinks uh, there's a premium beach area as well i really don't know much about it i need to find out more about it and tell you about it but i know that this balcony overlooks the premium exhale pool. So that is it for this brief room rundown. Despite some of the drawbacks of this room, I'm still really excited to be here. I'm here for four nights and I'm so excited to see if the hype is real. All right, good morning. First official full day at Breathless. Last night I had every intention of going to the best restaurant on site, the French restaurant, but I was tired and wiped out. So I just ended up ordering room service. How do you think that room service was? It was averaged, poor, just like all of the room service in Punta Cana is. Uh, today, I do wanna finish up at that French restaurant later tonight, but before that, I wanna have a pool day. There are five pools here at Breathless, that's what I'm told. One of them is right below me, that's the Exhale Pool. You know, that is the upsell pool, the exclusive pool only for Exhale members. Uh, it looks small and quiet, kind of boring. I don't think I'm gonna spend much time there. What I'm gonna do is start at the main pool, and then eventually I'm gonna migrate over to the party pool. The DJ gets there at 3 p.m.
I just took an intermission and walked back over to the main pool area. Uh, I was so hungry. They have two outdoor buffets there. One is a barbecue, and then the other one is a Dominican, and they both were fantastic. Yes, I did both of them. Okay, so I'm headed back over to the party pool. It is after 3 p.m. Apparently the DJ is there. Let's go check it out. Great day today, definitely a day in the right direction. I was pretty disappointed, at least initially when I got here the breathless, but today was a day, um, a step in the right direction. Uh, the pool, the main pool. Uh, first of all, upon further review, there are only really two pools here at Breathless. They count the swim up pools as pools, but we all know that swim up pools don't count as pools. So if you subtract the swim up pools, there really are only two pools here at Breathless. I hit them both today. The main pool, um, was two things. It was big and it was beautiful. It is the largest Punta Cana hotel pool I've seen thus far. It goes on almost as long as far as the eye can see. It is really like three pools in one, but make no mistake about it, it is one huge pool. And then secondly, it is beautiful and it is breathtaking. It is one of the nicest designed and just coolest looking pools I've been to. There were bridges, there were alcoves, there were, there were narrow strips, there were public areas, uh, there was a swim up bar, of course. Uh, just everything that you're looking in a Putacana pool in terms of its design and its, its elegance and its layout and its class, this pool had it. Then I went to the party pool. I did not get to stay at the party pool as long as I wanted. Um, the DJ starts at three and it goes until seven. I had to leave at four because I have to get to dinner, but I'm definitely going to go back. But uh, it was definitely a party pool and there were, the DJ was there and it was great music and the crowd was energetic. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to going back and having a longer session at the party pool. So the French restaurant Coquette, I liked it and here's why. Firstly, it felt like a restaurant at so many of these all-inclusives. Uh, these restaurants are just one giant square room with all of the seating and dining right in the middle. This had a restaurant atmosphere and a restaurant vibe, which I can really appreciate. Uh, secondly, the food was above average. For the price I'm paying here at Breathless, it better be, but the food definitely did not disappoint. And lastly, which is very appropriate to really any French restaurant, the service was pretty much impeccable. This morning I found a little bit of a jewel uh, by the main lobby. I found a coffee shop and although I'm off caffeine right now at the moment, I did get a chance to go in and get a juice and some finger foods. These coffee shops are a great grab and go option if you don't want to do like a full sit down meal in the morning. Right now I'm off to the beach. It's right behind me. I have no idea what it looks like. I've been here for three days and I haven't even seen it yet. I'm really excited to check it out. I feel like the beach is going to be a very influential factor on how this trip comes together overall. All right, so so much for the beach footage. The second I put my toes in the sand, literally the second, um, it started raining. It started downpouring. It's okay though, all is not lost. I do have another day tomorrow, so my plan is to get up really early in the morning and check out the beach. Uh, tomorrow's actually shaping up to be quite a big day because I want to go to the beach in the morning and then finish up at the party pool again. I definitely want to check it out and give it a second shot. Tonight, to make up for the loss of action from today, I'm gonna to go to the second best restaurant on site, the Italian place, and then after that, I'm gonna check out the nightlife and see what it's all about. All right, so that was the Italian place, Spumante, and uh, it was it was good. It was really good, as it should be for the prices we're paying here at Breathless, but it did not disappoint. Again, these restaurants 
feel like restaurants, and that is very pleasing. Uh, it had great decor, fantastic ambiance. It felt like a traditional sit-down experience. I had a Diablo chicken penne pasta that was mucho fuerte, muy muy fuerte, and it was magnifico. I loved every single bite of it. And I also had an amaretto sour that changed my life. It had a pink pixie dust rim on it. I've never had an amaretto sour like that ever. It was fantastic. Okay, it is evening time. It is deep into the evening, uh, and what I feel like doing is going to bed. But I am your travel Labrador. I'm your travel sled dog. I will never let you down. I aim to please. So what I think I'm going to do is go check out the entertainment and nightlife options uh, Breathless has to offer. I think the show, the entertainment show, is still ongoing. Um, hopefully I can catch a piece of that. And then apparently after the show ends, uh, everyone goes upstairs to the nightclub. So I should probably go check that out as well. All right, it is my fourth and final day here at Breathless. The sun is trying to peek through this morning. I'm confident that it will. I will not let this day go to waste. Very, very quickly, last night, the entertainment show and then the nightclub dance party. Uh, the entertainment show really wasn't that good, uh, but it really doesn't matter because I can't name one person that chooses an all-inclusive hotel or resort based off the entertainment show at night. They're always just an afterthought. It's just something to do that kind of gets the whole hotel together as a whole. Uh, it was one of those like singing um, ensemble tribute type bands that played a bunch of different cover songs. If that is your thing and you do really enjoy that type of show, check out the one at Majestic Mirage. That one is the best show I've seen up until this point. After the show ended, that's when the party started. Uh, the courtyard turned into a dance club. There was a DJ. There were multiple bars. It seemed like pretty much the entirety of the hotel was out there. It was a pretty fun time. So I noticed this last night. Uh, again, I've been here for three days and three nights. Today is my fourth. Uh, in terms of the crowd, I think that's the reason a lot of people do choose these hotels is based off the crowd and the action. I have seen this crowd before at one of these hotels. Um, it's almost identical, and I'll say right now, it is not Ryu Republica. Through process of elimination, you may be able to find out which one it is, uh, but yeah, I've seen this crowd before, and I'll tell you more about that later in the video. Full disclosure, I just woke up from a nap, so cut me a little bit of slack. The beach was good. In fact, it was better than good. It was great. I need to tell you about it later, though, because I'm running a little bit behind. Uh, there may or may not have been some pool time after the beach. There may or may not have been some shots involved. I may or may not decide to tell you any more about it. Uh, that is why I just woke up from a nap. But right now, I am off to the party pool. The festivities just kicked off. You know I wanted to see it again to see what it's really like. So I'm headed there right now and I'll check in later. Okay, this trip needs to end. <laughs> I am exhausted already, which is not good, and I'm off to another party hotel after this, so yeah. Okay, uh, the beach. The beach is great. It's one of the better beaches I've seen thus far in Putacana, definitely in my top five. I've been to 10, so yeah, it's, it's in the top half. Um, it was beautiful. It had a large, wide stretch of sand, which had a real easy, breezy slope into the water. It was a really, really fantastic beach setup. Uh, the exhale portion of the property, the exhale beach, that's where I hung out at. Um, that is the premium portion, that is the exclusive portion, you have to pay extra for that. And it had tons of space, 
cabanas and huts and hammocks. Um, definitely worth your while if you're coming here. It was better than the regular portion of the beach, the regular portion which everybody has access to. It was still really nice, uh, but it was definitely the lesser area of the two. Um, the sand wasn't as beautiful and the spacing and the seating was really jam-packed. So if you are all about your beach action here in Punta Cana, you should really, really consider upgrading to Exhale Club. I did go to the party pool again. Uh, it was definitely a lively place to be, tons of energy. There was a DJ, uh, the crowd was into it, uh, lots of drinks, lots of fun. If you're looking for the hottest place to be here during uh, the day, the, the place with the most action, you definitely want to check out the party pool. It is a really good time. So it's my last night here. I want to finish strong. Uh, there's still one restaurant I really want to check out, and that is the Steakhouse. All right, Breathless, my time here is ending. Before I get out of here, of course, I need to give you my thoughts, but before that, just a few notes of interest. Uh, number one, the steakhouse menu was at the Mediterranean restaurant last night because apparently the actual steakhouse venue was booked for an event, so they just moved everything over to the Mediterranean place. This happens from time to time. I've seen that before. Um, it was definitely the worst meal of the three I've had. It was average at best. I ordered the Breathless Burger, and I, I'm always a proponent of ordering the namesake drink or dish. So if they have a breathless drink, which they do, order that. I actually like that. And I ordered the breathless burger, and I wish I would have ordered the ribeye. Note number two, this property is located right next to Dreams Onyx. That is the sister property. And if you stay here at Breathless, you have access to pretty much everything over there. I'm not sure why you'd want to venture over to Dreams Onyx if you're staying at Breathless. Maybe to check out a restaurant or go to the gym. Uh, but if you are interested in exploring that property as well, it is available to you. Uh, note number three, the Exhale Club. I found it to be overrated and not worth it. You really get three things. You get access to the specialized Exhale Club pool, which is small, isolated, boring, uh, and that seemed to be where the most elderly guests um, on campus were hanging out. Maybe that sounds perfect for you, uh, but that is not perfect for me. Uh, also, you do get access to the Excel Club Lounge, uh, but the foods in there were pretty much the same finger foods that were available at the coffee shop. And they did have some premium drinks available, but if you want one, you have to walk all the way to this side of the campus just to get it. The only reason the Excel Club would be worth it is if you're a big beach person, as I talked about. The Excel portion of the beach is by far the best. It has the most beautiful sand, uh, the most beautiful water, and also the most space. So if you are a huge beach person, you may want to consider upgrading to the Exhale Club, but overall, I did not see the value in it. Okay, and then uh, last point of interest is the crowd. Uh, the crowd here is pretty much the hard rock crowd. It is much more hard rock than it is Rue Republica. What do I mean by that? Well, if you've been to the hard rock, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But definitely more people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s than in their 20s and 30s. And I found that to be surprising. You know, the hard rock is a place where people of all ages can come and really have a good time. And that's pretty much the same type of crowd that's here. But of course, the crowd here is adult only at 18 plus. Now, I personally found the crowd here to be fun, fantastic, and friendly, but if you are looking for that younger, sexier, more vivacious, international party crowd, I think you're definitely gonna wanna choose a hotel more like Rio Republica. All right, so Breathless, what do I think? This is really a case of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's talk about the good, or really even the great. Um, I thought the beach was good to great. Definitely one of the better beaches I saw in Punta Cana. I love that wide stretch of sand. There was a lot of space, specifically in the exhale portion of the beach. The grounds, the campus, are lush, beautiful, and tropical, both during the day and at night. This place is just as beautiful at night as it is during the day. If you just enjoy a casual stroll in a beautiful, lush, tropical environment, it gets almost no better than this breathless property. I thought the pools were really great as well. I thought the main pool is one of the better main pools I've seen. It's definitely the biggest and one of the best looking I've seen thus far in Punta Cana. And I liked how there were three different pool setups. There was the smaller intimate pool, the exhale pool for kind of the older, quieter crowd who just wanted some peace and quiet. 
There is the general main pool, that's a little bit of everything. And then of course you have the party pool and that is where you go to turn up and have a fantastic time. And lastly, the service here was fantastic. It should be at this price, but they really did deliver on service. Um, I'd say it's the second best service I've had thus far, right below Royalton. My VIP host was friendly, assertive, ambitious, responsive. Um, all the staff members here were just friendly and fun and warm. If service is important to you, I think you really need to give a hard look here at Breathless. Okay, so that was the good or great. Let's talk about the bad, and then we're gonna talk about the ugly. Uh, there were really three things that stood out in a bad category. Number one, and the most glaring one, is that this property is egregiously overpriced. Um, I think it's both overpriced and overhyped and overvalued. I think there are much better experiences to have in Putacana for the price. Yes, the beach was good, but definitely wasn't the best beach I've seen. Yes, the main pool was really great, maybe the best, but it wasn't the best pool scene I've seen. Uh, it didn't have the best food I've seen, and it wasn't the best location I've seen. So I really think you need to stand out in one of those categories for the price to be worth it. Okay, number two, the second bad thing would be the menus. If you're a big foodie, I think you're gonna be disappointed here. Not necessarily on the food quality and taste, I thought it was above average, uh, but the menu selection was really small and really quite boring. There were just, a couple of appetizers and maybe like three or four entrees. I'm just used to having a lot more options to choose from. I mean, I just came to Royalton Bavaro and they pretty much had a full blown restaurant menu. So if you are looking for food variety and food diversity, uh, I think you're gonna be disappointed when you come here to Breathless. And, and lastly, the third thing, this may seem like it's very trivial, uh, but this really kind of killed my trip and that's the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi here is absurdly slow. It's frustrating. I actually use uh, my cellular data more than I use my Wi-Fi. Um, now, if you're coming here to disconnect, that could be a very good thing. But if you do need to tap into your work or VPN to do an email um, or basically to surf the internet, uh, don't even think about streaming. But if you want to upload and download something, forget about it. It's not happening here. Uh, the Wi-Fi here is really poor. And if you need a solid connection, you're going to want to stay away from this property. So we talked about the good, we talked about the bad, now let's talk about the ugly. And the ugly is absolutely these rooms. Um, these rooms are hideous, they are terrible, they are atrocious. I actually find it rather to be kind of embarrassing for a hotel of this caliber to offer rooms like this. They are old, they are outdated, um, they are definitely worn, uh, a lot of stuff is disintegrating, scuff marks everywhere. Uh, you know, for a hotel that's a few hundred dollars a night, that's fine, but for an ultra premium place like Breathless, I just can't believe that these are the rooms that they offer. Also, I would be remiss if I did not mention this. I have heard of Putacana Hotel rooms being plagued with this. This is the first time I've ever encountered it, and that is the mildewy, uh, musty, and just kind of moldy, swampy smell when I walked in. People have talked about this at other, uh, at other hotels. I've read about it on TripAdvisor, but I've never encountered it, but I definitely encountered it the second I walked into this room. So um, if a nice, clean, modern, fresh hotel room is what you want, if you put a lot of emphasis on the hotel room, you're unfortunately going to want to stay away from this breathless property. All right, so wrapping up, how do I rate this place? You know, it's interesting. It's no secret that I had a bad taste in my mouth when I first entered this property. And then there was so much hype going into it, I almost was judging it for what I thought it was or what it should be and not what it actually is. But this property did grow on me. This is a solid adults only property. If you want a hard rock type vibe in a more boutique-y, type of setting, uh, a trendier hotel that is more modern, cooler, you know, better food, um, and a slightly enhanced crowd. I think you wanna give this um, property a hard look. It is good to great in a lot of areas, but unfortunately it just isn't excellent. This may be one of the better feel good, quasi party type properties in Putacana, but it just wasn't a huge standout for me. I think the price is a big detractor. Uh, the rooms are a big detractor. And just overall, I thought the party scene was a little bit synthetic, like hard rock, and not as organic and natural as it was in Rio Republica. With that being said, it still is a great property. I'm gonna give this property a four. It's probably a little high. I was back and forth between three, 3.5, and four, but I would like to come back here. I think if the rooms were much better, this property could score a lot higher. All right, so that is it. That is Breathless Putacana. Unfortunately, it did not leave me speechless. I was so hoping that it would, but it turns out it's just a crazy case of the good, the bad, and the ugly.